Welcome back to Final Football. I have another review for you guys today. Today I'm reviewing the Under Armour Game Day Armour Padded Compression Top. As you can see, I'm wearing it right now. I uh, decided to do the review actually wearing it for you guys just right from the get-go uh, so I can get into some of the details. So I'm going to cover off on uh, just kind of the fit, um, the price, the different colors that it comes in, the actual protection, um, and what I felt, and some of the benefits and what positions I think would really benefit uh, from this type of compression wear. First, I'm going to start off by talking about size. And the padded compression top fits true to size. This is a size large, which is the normal size I wear in Under Armour compression wear. And as you can see, it fits uh, pretty well. It's not loose at all. Um, it still allows flexibility in your movement. Um, that's something that I really liked about the shirt. Um, now we'll get into uh, just some of the protection you know, that it offers and some of the padding and the style of the padded compression top. So you can see that it has uh, shoulder pads or padding for your AC joint uh, on your shoulders. It also has padding for your ribs and your rib cage. And then it also has padding for your spine. And similar to the uh, padded you know, girdle that is the Game Day Armor, um, this is also contour. So besides just having a design here, you can see like the different you know, lines and uh, breaks in the pattern here. It, it is a pretty cool design, but it really allows for flexibility of movement. So as you can see here, it bends with your body, right? That's why uh, it actually has those breaks in it. So in terms of fitment compared to uh, Evil Shield or compared to Nike, I will say that this is the most comfortable that I've worn, uh, but obviously that's going to come you know, at the sacrifice of something else. So I will say it is um, the least coverage padding that I've worn. You know, between uh, the three, Evil Shield, Nike, and Under Armour. Um, so again, this is probably going to be for more speed players. If you're a receiver and you just want some of that added protection and you don't want to limit any of your mobility, then this is going to be a good compression top for you. Um, obviously, you know, you guys know Cam Newton. You know, he's endorsed by uh, Under Armour. He does not wear this um, because it doesn't provide adequate protection um, across your ribs um, and some of your other vital organs, you know, like a quarterback should have. So again, I wouldn't recommend this to running backs. I recommend this more to DBs who aren't getting hit a lot. I recommend this to wide receivers, you know, who, who just want that added protection, uh, that comfort there, um, and it's not going to hinder any of your performance. So now looking back at the side, my ribs are actually like here. I mean, you know, they go all the way across, but they're actually right here, right? So getting hit here it's not going to protect a lot. It really protects when you lift up your arms. This really, um, you know, soft portion right here, and and a portion of your ribs and you know part of your back, um, where I think your kidneys are. Don't quote me on that, but uh, that's going to protect some of those. So it, even though it's really thin, I don't know if you guys can see how thin that is. It does provide protection where it is. It just doesn't have a big coverage area. So that was the only problem I had with that. Um, looking at the back as well. Um, it actually provides a big coverage area of where it is, but it's not really high enough. So in terms of a back plate, a uh, back plate is really going to cover some of this area. This really only protects your spine. So, um, you know, I don't really wear padded compression tops because it does hinder my movement and performance. This shirt, however, is something that I would wear because it doesn't uh, really limit any of my mobility. So that's something that I liked about this shirt as well. I didn't like it because it doesn't come in a sleeveless. I don't know why they don't make compression, uh, padded compression tops in a sleeveless. You know, no brand really does. Uh, they make it in tanks, but it doesn't have the place for your AC joint. Um, but obviously, if you wore a shirt under this, which I wouldn't do, but a lot of people do do, it's, you know, you're going to be wearing two compression shirts, or this is going to show. And I don't really like that look. I think it looks kind of sloppy. Uh, but obviously, that's the only choice that you have when you have a compression shirt of this type. Um, also, it retails for $75. I've seen it cheaper on almost every other site uh, for that um, except for the Under Armour site. It might even be on sale now because it's towards the end of the season. Um, but uh, definitely don't pay 75 for it. Google, use the internet, search around. You can get it for a lot cheaper right now. It does come in a variety of colors just like the padded girdle. If you haven't seen that review, make sure you check that out. But uh, it does come in like uh, the same colors, you know, um, black on blue, black on red, black on gray, black on black I think 
a white and then a grand gray uh, with a little yellow mixed in. So that's pretty much the end of my review. If you liked it, remember to give me a thumbs up, share, subscribe, and I will see you next week.